And is today the day for Celtic? Or can Ray still injured? Obson Edward starts up front ahead of Lee Griffiths. Edward came on to score the winner at Ibrox last month. No surprises elsewhere. Tom Rogic has scored in all three of his old firm games this season. Callum McGregor has three in his last five derby starts. Stuart Armstrong is still out, but once again, it's a strong Celtic bench. Declan John broke his hand in training, so Andy Halliday covers at left back. That's the only change from the Hearts game. Old firm. Will it be a tale of the unexpected from Rangers, or will it be the same old story from Celtic? It's almost time to get some answers in the gritty city of Glasgow, where kickoff is next. So coming on to score the winner at Ibrox, there's a first Old Firm start for Otson Edouard on loan from Paris Saint-Germain. Paul Thompson's 15th Old Firm match. A year ago today, Celtic won 5-1 at Ibrox. They could even better that feeling. Can Rangers stop the man? Well, these Celtic players have won titles before, but in front of their own supporters against their greatest rivals, wow, that would be something a bit special. What sort of Rangers team's going to turn up this afternoon, Ian? That's the big question. James Forrest on the front foot, immediately testing, standing left back, Andy Halliday has played in that position. Fending off interest from Dorans and finding Brown. Dorans having a nibble, and a free kick for Celtic. The real strength of Celtic in that midfield, not only Scott Brown there, but Cham as well, who's really come to life. It's McGregor to take it, and it got something on it. Cham! Stopped superbly. What a save from Annick. Terrific stop from Cham. Terry. Selvig in the mood already. power in that effort. Here's Forrest. And he wriggled his way through. Forrest! Converted for a corner. Rangers on the rack from the off. Forrest looking lively in this right-hand side. Diving in too early there, Murphy. Forrest with the quick feet, just engineering enough space to get the shot away. On Anik here, he's just fouled with Lustig. Lustig just jumped in right into him. It's a clear foul, but earlier on, my goodness, he made a save. Cham catches that so well. The combination of Cham and Halliday keep that out. Something already looked like they made business, title winning business. Here's James Forrest over the head of Edward, but McGregor's onto it. And now Cham! Well, Alex keeping his team in it at the moment. A couple of good saves in the last few minutes. That's a really good effort, a curling effort from Cham. Trying to get it into that far corner. Oh, look at this earlier effort. Bouncing into the ground. Comes off Halliday's arm just a little. Certainly a touch from Manic. Can't possibly be deliberate. Difficult testing, challenging week for him. Dorrance has worked luggage though. Windows. Come back by McGregor. Not much relief for Rangers at the moment. McGregor, who is there? McGregor running onto that. Oh, Halliday has to put it away for another corner. Well done, Andy Halliday. Such a good run from Callum McGregor. But look at Halliday here. He knows that Forrest wants it. But that's a good week for him. The ball was over. Familiar sight. Lustig looking for the flick on from McGregor's court. It's a good move from Lustig. Just getting ahead. Look at him right in the centre there, the six yard box. It's only a five yard run. Just trying to guide it with a pace on the ball. Give them a bit of confidence. Get a few tackles away, a few passes. There's your first talking point there. Uh, Jason Cummings with the challenge. Kate Thompson just getting a bit of advice from his assistant here. Jason Cummings, I think, looking to spark his teammates into life. He said he got the ball. Kate Thompson, very 
experience in these occasions, and he's going to have a word with his assistant, Frank Connor. Jason Cummings is summoned. Cummings making his first old firm start. And it is a yellow. Well, Cummings will be delighted to have started the game to get this opportunity. I don't think he's anywhere near. He's coming through the man to even get close to the ball. It's a stupid challenge from Cummings. Corner committed himself somewhat there. Rocket racing through the middle here. Edward Forrest is free as well. And it's deflected for a corner. And there was a few screaming for a pass there from Edward. Yeah, it looks like Halliday's getting across here to get the block in. Poor initially from McCrory to dive in in the opposite half of the pitch. Edward running so comfortably with the ball at his feet, trying to get that shot away. Tierney offering support. Tierney progressing brilliantly! Celtic and they've got the rewards and it's made by Kieran Tierney Candace defending look at his body position he doesn't know where to go but Tierney does get to the byline a bit of space and then pick out a teammate Tierney does this so well driving a cross goal and the vital touch from Edward jostling for a bit of space in the six yard box and guides it home past Anik. He can't do anything, he must be drawn to the front post. And that gives Edouard the space he was looking for. It's a goal that was coming. The man for Brendan Rodgers went with Edouard. It's paid off already. And here comes Celtic surging forward again with Callum McGregor. Options available. It's James Forrest. Tavernier turns it away. Celtic. Rockets. Look almost outnumbered here. McGregor! He's scored a few goals in these games lately. Now look at Hull and Tavernier and Martin. Furious with each other. No one picking up. Roddy such a danger man. In and around that space just outside the box. Truly underway. What a start from Celtic. It's McGregor taking up some really good positions. And just uh, thinks the title at Celtic Park back in 19. Boyata muscles in on Cummings. A little relief for Rangers. Rogic for McGregor. They're on their way again. And McCrory intervenes. I think they can count that as a back pass. Yeah, I think Celt Celtic fans looking for that as a back pass, but absolutely wonderful. Rogic feet in the middle of the park, setting his teammate McGregor away. Murphy blocked. Craig Thompson, last of all. <laughs> it's a corner. He's discounting his own touch here, Craig Thompson. Wait to see this shot coming back off Lustig. Onto Thompson. It goes out. <laughs> it's a corner. McGregor was so interested in this. Tavernier having a little look. Then he's left McGregor in. Awful defending from Tavernier. He's off McCrory. And settles for the corner of Halliday. Tavin is a firm favourite for that ball. Why is he not just playing it back to his goalkeeper? Tried to be too clever. And it's a really cute pass here for Jason Holt. Gordon makes the save and Tierney will get there ahead of the windows. Best bat play from Rangers. Murphy on to Holt. But you see it time and time again. 
big save from Craig Gordon. Burger under pressure from Tavernier. And took a bit, he found a way out to Kieran Tierney. Dorans. Forrest. He escaped Hannaway here. He has done. Now up against Martin. Forrest for Lustig. Tierney. And Tierney make it happen again. A cham. Back by Brown. On by Lustig. Up in the air by Murphy. But. McCoy deals with Edward. He's looking for it there, Edward. It was a clear foul earlier on one foot. Rogic has pinched it off Murphy. And a free kick for Celtic and Rangers doing themselves no favours here. I can't believe they don't recognise the danger of Rogic. Goes. McGregor sees off Tavernier. Up against McCrory. Rogic takes over. That is really dreadful defending from Tavernier. To try and step in in front of. Skidded on the Dorans boot. Forrest releasing Edward. Here comes Celtic again. Here comes Edward again. Another title winning party is in full swing at Celtic Park. Another gift from Rangers giving the ball away. And everyone is out of position. Tavernier's a way forward. Halliday's a way forward. Look at them here as they get possession away. Edward, simple move into the space vacated by Halliday. And he's strong enough and he's confident enough. I'm taking this myself. I'm taking responsibility. I'm getting a shot on target. And he finds the right angle to get it away from Anik. Two goal advantage and two for Edward. Brilliant performance from the 20 year old. Well, Moussa Dembele would have got the nod today had he been fit. Dembele scored a hat-trick against Rangers last season. Edward could be on the verge of doing the same. Fabulous finish. These Rangers players just don't have the experience just to keep the ball. They're 42 minutes, a two-goal advantage. I think that's what Celtic deserve. They've been so far on top. Rangers not up to it. It's not a lack of heart or fight this time here. It's just a lack of ability. Edouard fancying a hat trick. Maybe have a Might need some treatment here. He's off the field anyway, so we can carry on. Well, rolling back on the field. Well, here Murphy was unhappy with the referee, he thought it was a foul. Halliday here, just looking for a pass. Lustig comes in. Doesn't seem to be anything in that other than the way he lands. Just the connection he makes on his leg. Last month, but ultimately lost against ten men. It's almost becoming psychological for them now. Kieran Tierney. Ready to provide again here, no taker surprisingly there. Oh, there might be yet. Loose stick for Cham. Look at that touch from Murphy giving the ball away. Non-stop from Celtic this. Forrest! His first ever old firm goal! No contest this! No contest whatsoever! challenges does he go through here or rather how many non-challenges does he go through here when this ball is worked out to Forrest he's got everything to do easily past Cummings easily past Murphy easily past Halliday but then when he's got the opportunity for a shot at goal he gets it powered behind it he finds the angle and he gets our way into that far corner the party has started already for these Celtic players and their supporters. Brilliant goal from Forrest. Well, his uh, brother Alan scored against Rangers. 
for Air United in the Scottish Cup. I suspect James has been, been getting a bit of stick for that. He might even send his brother a half-time text at this rate. We're into an added on minute. But it already appears like the game is over, the job is done, the title is won. A pulsating performance from the champions. And the truth is, if they want another three in the second half, they can go and get them. Four or five. The last two goals came in the space of three and a half minutes. And Rangers simply don't have an answer against their old foes, their old rivals. Olsson, Edouard got the party going, Moussa Pimbele's replacement then scored again. And Celtic hadn't finished with toying with Rangers as James Forrest popped up with a third. Half-time, it is Celtic 3, Rangers nil. Been in that title-winning mood from the very first whistle. And they might want to inflict more pain and misery on their Glasgow rivals here in the second half. Here's your captain, I think he's been awful. Martin at the back, really poor. In the middle of the park, Holton Dorange, nowhere near their opponent. Candias, Murphy. Murphy's shown a couple of nice touches and passes. But if Steven Gerrard is watching this, and I'm sure he is, I think it highlights the enormity of the gap that exists. Brown. Here's Rogic, can't believe he hasn't scored yet. Give him time. Edouard on a hat-trick. Forrest looking for his second. And now it's McGregor. And it spread himself. Tierney goes to ground. if Rogic hadn't scored, well he has, and no surprise here, well done Anik for keeping that out, really sharp off the ball, that looked like a penalty to me, I don't think the referee's playing advantage as he indicates there, I don't think he was going to give it, but as Tierney touches the ball here, after this shot comes back to him, I think he's fell from Kandias, but once it falls to Rogic, look at the space that he has, Anik has already been dragged towards that right hand post, there's a huge gap there. And Rogic, as he so often does in this fixture, effortless, guides it away into the net. It's now a question of how many for Celtic. I did say give him time. <laughs> it didn't take... Stating on the break. Some of the fans with a, a famous celebration, turning their backs. Rangers turned their backs on this game from the first whistle. Just not in it. there wasn't it trying to guide it away from Gordon didn't quite get the touch he was looking for skipping away Forrest to his right she ran into Russell Martin but still able to find Edouard Edouard able to cross it it's Callum McGregor this time and Celtic hit the high fives against Rangers it's the same old story of Derby Day, the Celtic rule, and Rangers wilt and wither. They are queuing up to score here, and no surprise again to see Carl McGregor in there. Look at this pass from Rogic. Edward, he's first thought, go and attack Tavernier, take him on, 1v1, get to the byline, what options does he have? He's got Forrest in there, but McGregor's the one who gets on the end of the cutback. Brilliant from...
from Edouard. The cutback and just guided home. Side of the foot, McGregor again on the big occasion. Gets a big goal. Rangers are absolutely nowhere. It is complete and utter humiliation. That's four goals in his last six at Old Firm starts. Callum McGregor. One of... Moustic. The challenge is flying in. And Craig Thompson stepping in. Celtic took seven off Rangers. Yeah, that was there. Good effort off the outside of the post. That would have come back off Gordon once it hit the post. But you're right, what a terrific strike from Windass. Gordon was over there. That's definitely the way Windass in that area always looking to get a shot away. That was just Windass's last call. Brown. Brown again, Rogic again. Free kick will be given. But look at the way Rogic receives the ball. Look how quick his feet are to get away from it. Seven tigers in a row for Celtic. And they will surely keep on coming at this rate. Here's Forrest. The goals might keep on coming too here. Ineffective clearance. Olivier Cham! Good save from Anik. For the foul. A good cross into the box, set away by Rogic. Just one touch to control, doesn't find the angle to get away from Ari. This has been a remarkable performance from Celtic, but a desperate performance from Rangers once more. And what Stephen Jones. Absolute quality this afternoon. McGregor, Tierney. Tavernier will close the door on this occasion. Scooped away by McCrory. Tierney! Even the ricochets are favouring Celtic. Cham, McGregor, Tierney! And Anik prevents Forrest from scoring again. Well, Anik is alive and alert and making some really important saves. The first half he certainly did so, Celtic moving the ball. One and two touch football, it's very impressive. But that is equally impressive as a save. That's a good connection from Forrest. Bring it in, Tavernier for Morelos, is he going to score? And all from the no. Murphy for Dorans. Forrest showing interest in that, that would be rather fortunate. And Forrest has kept it in. Rogic, surely, and it produces an heroic save. Can you believe the defending of Andy Halliday there? Can you believe what he was thinking? Just extraordinary. Forrest all over it, Rogic getting a shot away, a save, you think that's a tap-in? Yet again, Anik makes a second sales for Tom Rogic. He rarely sees a game out. And he's going to be able to take a breather now as Scott Sinclair comes up. He's been absolutely magnificent. A Rolls Royce performance this afternoon from Rogic. His goal he had a big target to aim at there. Everyone else made it a bit more simple for him. But on this occasion, he's the man that constantly steps forward on the big occasion. An old firm game is not complete these days unless Tom Rogic scores. He has done so. And Scott Sinclair comes on. Rogic has five games. Missed by Halliday. Forrest released by Cham. Edouard and Sinclair in the middle. And that's a more comfortable save for him. Edouard not happy. He wanted a pass from James Forrest. Trying to pass it, Jack Minley getting struck. I think Lustig just has gone down on the far side, some sort of injury. Jack Henry will take his place. 
interesting who uh, put a policeman's helmet on <laughs> in celebration for James Forrest's goal just before the break. But he's found his way back via Partick Thistle and Wigan and Dundee. And more than enough today. Making quite an impression with the first two goals. The first attack in the second, a fine finish. He's been a real handful. He's made his mark. I think sometimes it's the most important goal, the breakthrough goal, when you're on top. You need someone to make the difference. And no wonder every Celtic supporter on the seat, even Mr Dembele. He got the breakthrough and he didn't stop there. He was hungry for more. It's been a marvellous performance from Watson Edward. Lee Griffiths. And still a quarter of an hour to go until Rangers are put out of their considerable misery here. Well, Morelos and Boyata. Morelos just having a stupid shove on Boyata. It's not the way to compete. It's not the way to show you care. And Scott Brown moved in to move Morelos away there. I know you're cruising it when Scott acts as a peacemaker. I don't know whether he'll show any cards here. I think Craig Thompson early is showing a card. Thought he might have just had a word in his ear, but just really silly. Yeah. Morelos will, like McCrory, also miss the final game of the season at Hibs. But Bayata here, just getting it out. He takes a bit of a slide kick, the flick out from Morelos, no real shove there. I think a word in his ear might have been sufficient, but picked up a yellow. Well, Rangers with two players. <laughs> oh, by Holt on a yellow card for Jason Holt now. Holt nowhere near it. Kieran Tierney is too sharp, coming in. Left leg and then sweeps round with his right. Fourth yellow card. Brown. <laughs> They're enjoying themselves so much. Chap. Sinclair. Looking for number six. Sutter. Sinclair. And Crowley puts it out for a corner. Brilliant moment in the middle of the park there. United against Arsenal. He's through. It is Lee Griffiths, and he's unable to finish. I was absolutely sure he would score. He's always getting away from Martin here. Griffiths takes a good touch, doesn't want to put it onto his right foot. Always keen to get it onto his left. The space was on his right, and he has slight bobble there as he's in the act of shooting, but. section of Celtic Park emptying fast. <laughs> Celtic have gone one better than these. Scottish Cup semi-final victory over their rivals. Rough will here, there. Just fans have been through so much in recent years. This will yet again be a hard one to take. They'll be hoping their club sort themselves out soon. So they go up to Tenerife this week. I think they might have a good time. How are they getting it in the air from the Celtic fans again? Hey, well, I thought he headed the ball, but actually he cleared it with his face that last cross. Tavernier, I think, took the ball into the box. <laughs> Cut away with his face. Do what you need to do to clear the danger. Bit of blood there. They have to go off. It's played in at some pace from Tavernier. And instead of heading it, slight touch off Morelos. Murphy, two minutes to be added on. This issue has long since been resolved. Morelos to the catch. Gordon there. On the yellow card too, but Craig Thompson playing rather calm about it. 
think he was entitled to try and get it, Morelos. He'd actually gone for the nutmeg on Scott Brown earlier. Take with the ball. Gordon takes it cleanly. It's that left leg of Morelos trying to get it out of his game. Seven successive titles with the considerable promise of more to come. Not invincible this season, but still untouchable. Tavernier. the title and thrashing your rivals it doesn't get much better than this for Brendan Rodgers and Celtic they call this place paradise it certainly feels like that today seven titles in a row confirmed with a victory over their old foes Oxen Edward in for the injured Moussa Dembele scored the first two goals James Forrest got his first old firm goal before half time Tom Rogic Four old firm games, four goals this season for the Australian. And Callum McGregor, who has a habit of scoring on this occasion too, made his mark with the fifth. It was one-way traffic from the off. Rangers humiliated and embarrassed. Celtic one step away from a double treble now. And this is what it feels like to be Celtic. And today's... Outstanding performance was certainly a performance of champions. Yeah, I think they just emphasised and underlined the huge gap that exists between the two sets of players. I don't think Rangers know how to handle this occasion. So much work to be done for the new head coach. It's not going to be Graham Murty. I think the people behind him have told him that as much. Will it be Steven Gerrard? Another big win against Rangers. Another title, another party. He'll never walk alone, not when you keep winning titles, and not when you keep thrashing Rangers. Champions again, Celtic. You can only imagine what it feels like to be one of the few Rangers fans who are still in the stadium having to watch this season after season after season. It really is a magnificent seven for Celtic, a historic double treble on the horizon. One more game to go, the cup final. But this is what it means in the Premiership. Confirmation then that they are champions and confirmation Rangers still sit in third position trying to chase Aberdeen for that all-important second spot. Champions of England are in action on Sky Sports.